Uh, so it's a, it's a, a rare uh, genetic bleeding disorder uh, and it, it affects males uh, and it is congenital. So it's, it's present from shortly after birth. Uh, and it's a deficiency in one of the blood clotting proteins, uh, factor nine. Uh, so it's a, it's a lifelong uh, debilitating disease where uh, these uh, boys and then young men and gentlemen have uh, a bleeding tendency, uh, which can result in very severe bleeds, including lethal bleeds if it bleeds in, in their brains. But most often the problems are bleeding into their muscles are bleeding into their joints. And particularly when they bleed into the joints, uh, this can result in arthropathy or damage to the joints, uh, uh, the ankles, the uh, uh, knees, the elbows, um, and result in uh, uh, chronic um, debilitating uh, uh, handicaps in terms of mobility. So the treatment, um, current treatment is uh, for patients to receive intravenous infusions of uh, recombinant factor IX replacement protein, uh, of which uh, CSL uh, has been one of the leaders in this field for uh, years and years and years, starting when it, we started off with plasma-derived factor IX, and now we have a recombinant-derived product, uh, Idelvion, which is a uh, 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 the, the leader, I, I, I imagine, in the uh, hemophilia B space uh, globally. Um, and depending on the severity of their underlying hemophilia, uh, patients are either treated either on demand, in other words, when they have a bleed, they infuse the factor IX, or their, their family or parents or caregivers infuse the factor IX. Uh, those are for patients who have relatively very few bleeds. But then there are some patients who have frequent bleeds uh, and those patients need to be on long-term prophylaxis therapy where depending on the half-life of the recombinant factor IX product use, which is where the advantages of Ideldeon uh, come in because it has such a, a long half-life, patients can be infused either weekly or bi-weekly or even on some occasions up to, up to every 21 days. Um, but nonetheless, they still need to be infused. It's still an IV stick. It's still lifelong. Uh, and uh, not everybody responds the same. So people have been looking for uh, a functional cure for hemophilia B uh, for years and years and years. And we now believe that we will have the first uh, functional treatment for hemophilia B with uh, the uh, uh, Atronica gene uh, Desiparvovec or Atronides, rather than say that whole mouthful every time, uh, therapy that is given just once as an IV infusion. Uh, and in the data that will be presented at uh, EHAD tomorrow, uh, will shown to decrease the uh, annualized bleeding rate uh, in 54 patients. Uh, compared to a six-month bleed-in period. Uh, so it actually shows superiority to prophylaxis treatment. So even better than getting prophy treatment. Uh, and also durability of the effect uh, at least through uh, 18 months at this point. So, and, and it also seems to be very, very safe. Uh, so at this point, um, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the landscape is that the treatments now are able to address the range of patient needs. <clears throat> I should point out though that um, uh, the Atronides treatment uh, has only been studied in patients 18 and older so far uh, with plans for studying younger age groups as we progress the development of the treatment further. Um, so uh, IV therapy, either on demand or prophylactic, well, excuse me, will continue to be the mainstay of therapy uh, for um, uh, children and uh, adolescents.